today I'm going to be building a block spec house, but every room is a different country. And how I'm going to be doing this is through a spinning wheel. And this spinning wheel holds all 193 countries, so each country will be completely random. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I already have the exterior of the house built. Okay, so I'm thinking the first room can be the living room. I don't know if I want to do the living room and the foyer separate. I think I might just leave it one country. So the living room and the foyer can be one single country. Country of the living room is going to be Chile. Okay. So here is the flag of Chile. As you can see, we've got blue, white, and red. And that is kind of the color palette that we're going to go for. Well, the bottom of the Chile flag is red. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting short rail molding at the bottom and then painting this red. And then the walls can just be white. And then the crown molding up the top can be blue. Okay. I think that is good for the walls. So now I just have to copy the sequence kind of everywhere. I love figuring out where you guys are from. One of you told me that you are from Brazil. Like what? That is so cool. Let me know in the comments like what country you're from. Also, I was reading my comments the other day and someone said, I cannot stand Alaska. I had to stop watching her because her accent was so annoying. And I'm like, oh, that is so mean. <laughs> it's actually funny because to me, I don't have an accent. So when people are like, Alaska, you have an accent. It's annoying. Stop. I'm like, what accent? I don't even have an accent. I wonder if anyone is from Chile here. That would be pretty cool. I mean, I'm definitely going to get one of your guys' flags. Okay, the walls are done. It's looking a little bit funky, but it's okay. <laughs> we have to trust the process, all right? I just need to add curtains because I ain't having no peeping toms in here. And I think I'm going to paint them white like that. And boom, we got curtains. Yo, I don't know why, but this hallway is looking so eerie. We're also missing flags. I want to put the flag of the country in every single room. So like we know what country is in each room. And then obviously because it's an actual house, we need the entry area or foyer. Do you guys call it foyer or entry area? I actually do not know. <gasps> I just thought of something so cute for the entry area. What if I do like towels here, but they're in the color of the flag? Okay, that's cute. And just some more plants because greenery, am I right? Okay, because it's such a long hallway, I feel like we need a long carpet to kind of elevate the space. So we're just going to go in with this long carpet and put it in the middle here. Okay, if I search up chili on Pinterest, this is what comes up. Um, I don't know if this is chili or not, but like, <gasps> it's so pretty. Where I'm from, the biggest landmark is the big potato and a big banana. Okay, I think the entry area is done. Now I want to work on this little section over here. And I'm thinking of making this kind of like a reading nook. So we can have a bookshelf here and then I'm just going to fill it with books. Obviously, we're going to fill it with books. We're going to put a bookshelf here and then we're going to fill it with books. Uh, yeah, they know that. Also, the way I'm doing this challenge is I'm literally just like making everything the color of the flag and trying to make it look good. So, okay, now we just need like a round table in here so we can like sit down and read our book. Okay, and obviously this table has to be the same color of the flag. So I'm thinking maybe blue. Okay, I also need to set the table up with some tableware. So we're just going to put these placemats on the table and then put like plates and that on top. I actually love setting the table up in Bloxburg. It's so fun. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, chairs are in. Table is looking proper. Wait, why is there a dining table in the library? <laughs> Do you ever just lose track on what you're doing? Like this is not meant to be a dining table. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just going to get rid of the plates and put like books. And I think I might make these chairs more lifelike so I might like bring them out and kind of twist them around like a real coffee table would look like. Okay and the next section is the lounge room over here so <laughs> let's just move this dining table in the kitchen please. So the reason I'm making the chili living room foyer and kind of like library section or the same country is because technically it's like an extension of the living room so it would be kind of silly breaking that up into three different countries. Okay I think I want to put the barbecue on this wall. Did I just call a fireplace a barbecue? Alright, guess what, Chili? You get a blue TV. Okay, so because this is a relatively large living room, I want like a massive, massive rug. Like literally this big. I want the rug to be huge. Okay, and because I wanted like a massive couch, I'm thinking like a U-shaped couch. We might go on with these like wicker sectional lounges and add them all around here. There we go. Massive lounge. Love it. Movie nights there would be mwah, chef's kiss. Okay, and because we have to paint this like kind of the same color as the flag, obviously we're not going to have blue couches. So I'm thinking white couches with like red borders and maybe blue pillows. And for the coffee table, we're just going to use a basic shape because we're basic. <laughs> If you want a nice coffee table, literally just place a basic shape and then change the material to like wicker and it looks something like that and it looks so good. Also, on the flag of Chile, there's like a white star. So um, I'm going to use this joyous sun because it's kind of cute. There we go. I don't know if that kind of looks silly. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, now we just need a nice chandelier in the middle because right now it is dark and those suns are looking real creepy. 
Okay, the chilly living room I think is finished. So now we can move on to the garage, which is over here. Okay, the country we get for the garage is... Switzerland! Oh my gosh, wait, I love Switzerland. So obviously the Switzerland flag is red and white with like a cross in the middle. And if you didn't know, Switzerland is literally so beautiful. I have dreams of Switzerland, like I'm telling y'all. Like, look at this. Okay, so I usually like paint the room like the color of the flag, but I'm thinking for these little walls coming out, we can do like mm, logs in like a dark brown. Because when I think of Switzerland, I think of like mountains, log homes that are like surrounding the waterfalls. I don't know. For the walls, they can just be red with like white wall trims. Okay, Switzerland garage equals red and white car. And I think we're going to use the convertible. I don't know how this is going to look like red though. You know what? If Santa drove a car instead of reindeers, this is what his car would look like, I think. And Switzerland has snow on the mountains. So I'm going to put these snowmobiles back here. Oh, I'm so jealous. I've never seen snow in my life. And I find it so funny because some of you have actually never seen the beach in your life. I live right next to the beach. So isn't that crazy? Okay, the reason I'm adding waterfalls back here it's because Switzerland has very beautiful waterfalls. I want to incorporate little touches of Switzerland, not just the color. Should I do a white cross um, out of LED lights for the flag? Oh, I don't know if I like it or not. We might keep it. I don't know. Okay, and lastly, just paintings to show beauty of Switzerland because I want to have some like photos of like the mountains and different things. Okay, and I think the Switzerland garage is all finished. Okay, so the next room we can do is the kitchen, which is back here. Okay, the country for the kitchen is going to be Belgium. Oh, okay. Okay, so the flag of Belgium is black, yellow, and red. Also, when I think of Belgium, I think of like the beautiful medieval architecture. So I think we're definitely going to incorporate that with like the counters and the cabinets. But for now, we're just going to paint the walls yellow. Bear with me, okay? I feel like that yellow is like way too saturated. So we might do like a nice pastel yellow. Okay, so this is what comes up when I search up Belgium in Pinterest. As you can see, very beautiful architecture. So you know what? We're going to have a little medieval kitchen moment. But first, we have to paint this dining table. And I think we're going to go with red. And you know what? It doesn't actually look too bad. The cabinets, I'm thinking we can use Craftsman cabinets. I've actually never used these before. Correct me if I'm wrong. One of you guys are gonna pull up receipts like, actually Alaska, you did use these before. Why on earth are these counters $500? And don't worry, Belgium, I will not forget your oven. So there you go. Okay, and now to paint the cabinets the same color as the flag. So I'm thinking like a nice dark red for the counters. And I'm thinking the countertops can be black because obviously the flag is black, red, and yellow. Oh my god, when I search up what is Belgium known for, it comes up with beer, waffles, and chocolate. I think we can incorporate some um, apple juice. I'm just going to call it apple juice. <laughs> It makes sense that the apple juice is over here because I also have a beverage fridge which I can put underneath the apple juice. We definitely need an island bench but I am afraid we're going to run out of room. <laughs> yeah, see, it's literally going inside of the dining table. You can also make the island benches like a different material than the rest of the counters to kind of break it up a little bit so it's not all the same. You know what, Belgium has pretty nice food so I can put these cake stands on and then once I'm finished building, I can put food on top of these cake stands. Oh, <gasps> I just thought of something. What if I put LED lights on the bottom and the top of the counter? and then I can paint them like red and gold so the same color as the Belgian flag okay moment of truth oh <gasps> stop wait kind of looks good we're also gonna have three pendants up the top but we're gonna put them in like the color and the order of the flag so it ends up looking someone like that okay I think that's the Belgium kitchen done you know what considering we used red yellow and black it actually it didn't turn out too bad okay the next room we have is obviously the bathroom which is over here okay and the country of the bathroom is going to be united states all right well the american flag is obviously red white and blue um it might clash with the chili room um the chili room it's more of like a lighter blue and for the american bathroom i think we're going to use like a darker blue an american bathroom <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Shay actually do the rest of the video in an American accent. Maybe then, if I start talking in an American accent, people will stop clicking off my videos and leaving hate comments saying, wow, Alaska, I actually hate your accent. I find it really funny that my name is Alaska. I've never been to Alaska in my life. Oh no, obviously the American bathroom needs an Amer- That is way too big. We do not need a flag this big. It's a little, a little tiny American flag right there. <laughs> I typed up American in Pinterest and it comes up with this. There's very beautiful places in America, but when I think of America, I kind of think of like your typical two-story suburban home. 
America is actually a very beautiful country. For example, they've got the Grand Canyon. They've got New York. I reckon the Americans deserve a jacuzzi. <laughs> they've also got the Statue of Liberty, which I think is in New York. What if I put a Statue of Liberty here? Oh my, what even is that? No. That's got to go. Okay, well obviously the American flag has stripes like on the flag, so maybe we can put plain thin pillars along this wall. I don't know. On this episode of Will It Flap or Will It Tap, I should probably use another saying. Oh my god, it's really, really difficult trying to do an American bathroom just out of the colours of the flag. Firstly, because majority of my viewers are from America, so I cannot flop this bathroom. I don't know why, but this bathroom, it's not giving what it needs to give. I think I might restart. If you're American, I am so sorry, but right now the bathroom is actually looking really bad and I need a restart. <laughs> I don't know why my voice goes so high-pitched when I'm talking in an American accent compared to like if I'm talking in an Australian accent. <laughs> like what? Okay, so I'm gonna put a wall here with like a little window. This is kind of like dividing the shower to the rest of the bathroom. So you know what? The American bathroom can get a nice luxurious shower. And then like an insert here to kind of like put the shampoo bottles. Whoa, what? <laughs> Why did I just turn American? I've been doing this bathroom for too long. The American accent has infiltrated my mind. Also, because the uh, flag color is red, white, and blue, we obviously need like a blue wall trims at the bottom here. And you know what, America? You get a fancy toilet right near the door. You're welcome. Also, I'm thinking we should give him a jacuzzi, you know? Okay, for the counters, we're gonna use two modern counters like this, and then put like a round mirror on top. Another thing I think about when I think of America is uh, the classic Hollywood sign. So we're definitely gonna put like a decal here with like the Hollywood sign. I mean, it works. It's just the sign's kind of messed up, so I might paint it blue. Y'all, why does this look like a frat boy dorm room? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just fix up the lighting and I think we are finished. I'm also gonna put like more stools around the place and like plants to make it more lively. And I think that's the American bathroom are complete. So now now we're gonna do the bedroom or office maybe the bedroom first and the country for the master bedroom is going to be <gasps> India okay so this is the Indian flag it's like orange white and green with a navy blue wheel in the middle so for the color of the room I think I might go with green with like orange and white wall trims also when I think of India I think of like the incredible food they have one of my best friends is Indian and she brings me the best food ever. Also, another thing I think of when I think of India is the beautiful Taj Mahal. Okay, so to kind of like incorporate the Taj Mahal in here, I think I might go with like a fancy, fancy bedroom because like, have you seen the Taj Mahal? It is beautiful. That is like on my bucket list. I want to go. I want to visit. So this is what comes up when I set up India and Pinterest. As you can see, very, very beautiful country. So I'm thinking we can have a painting above the bed of the Taj Mahal. Also, when my friend went to India, she sent me a photo of an elephant so we're gonna have a little elephant plushie on the bed and for the Indian room I'm gonna give him a nice fancy chandelier and then just more fancy bedside tables but instead of like a messy closet we're just gonna have like two fancy dresses we'll also have a cute little fireplace at the end over here and more plants because India has lots of like greenery and plants so we'll definitely incorporate that okay now that the India bedroom is all complete now we can move on to the last room which is the office and for the office we get Brazil, okay. So the Brazil flag is green, yellow, blue, and has like green writing in the middle. I'm sad I didn't get any of my countries this time because, okay, I was born in Australia, although my nationality is Portuguese and Dutch, and we didn't get any of them, but it's okay because Brazil, I think the main language of Brazil is actually Portuguese. So when I think of Brazil, I think of the beautiful beaches. Um, I think of, you know the movie Rio? where it's like in uh, Rio de Janeiro. That's what I think of when I think of Brazil. So for the walls, we're just gonna do yellow and green, which is, you know, the color of the flag. And obviously because this is an office, it needs like a rug and a desk in here. Also, when I think of Brazil, I think of the 2014 FIFA World Cup. I also wanna have like heaps of painting here to kind of incorporate the different cultures and like traditions of Brazil. And obviously Brazil has beautiful rainforests, so, Lots of plants in here. <laughs> okay, Brazil is beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's looking very questionable with these colors. I also want like a massive painting of Rio de Janeiro. I hope I'm saying that right. Rio de Janeiro. 
All right, the last thing I want to add in the office is these two chairs next to the desk and I think we are done. Okay, the different country house is all finished, so let's head on inside. So for the lounge room, I got chili. And the only thing with this is that a lot of countries are red, white, and blue. So I had to incorporate a lot of chili flags so people would know. This is a chili themed living room. Okay, so over here is my favorite little reading nook section. I don't know what this decal is. I just typed up chili and this is the first thing that popped up. And here is our massive living room. I don't even know why we would need a couch this big. But you know what, more the merrier. So yeah, chili themed living room. Kind of crazy with the colors, but moving on. And for the garage, I got Switzerland. Oh my gosh, I just realized the car for Switzerland also has like a white line. Wait, that is kind of iconic. So yeah, we've got the Switzerland flag back here with the jet ski, Switzerland decals. I don't even know if this is Switzerland, to be honest. I typed up Switzerland and that's what came up. Okay, now coming back here, we've got the kitchen. And clearly for the kitchen, I got Belgium. Now considering the kitchen is black, red, and yellow, it actually didn't turn out too bad. I also incorporated some like photos of Belgium. Also, I really like what I did with the lights, how it's like in order of the flag. And of course, we have lots of Belgian food. Ah, uh, yes, Belgian food is uh, lobster, muffins, and uh, bacon and egg. Yeah, because that makes sense. And then um, lots of uh, apple juice. Now making our way over to the American-themed bathroom. <laughs> so yeah, this is the American-themed bathroom. Do not judge me. It's definitely not my favorite room. I am so sorry to the Americans. It's reminding me of like a frat boy house at a college dorm. I mean, the set up of the bathroom is nice it's literally it's just the colors so of course i added you know disneyland the previous president D don't ask okay i typed up america in decals and they're the two first things that popped up so so yeah here's our very questionable sink the only redeeming quality about this bathroom is the shower i just love how it's like very big and spacious so yeah that is the american bathroom okay now coming over to the office we got brazil now i think this room is closest to the flag as possible like compared to all the other countries when i walk into this room i'm like oh my god this is brazil so I think the office actually turned out pretty well. Like obviously these colors are not something I would use in my everyday Bloxburg home, but as this is a color the flag challenge, I think we've done pretty well. Obviously we have a beautiful decal of Rio de Janeiro and then like the FIFA World Cup. Okay, now moving on to the last room, we've got the master bedroom. And for the master bedroom, I got the country India. Now I'm actually genuinely obsessed with how this room turned out. India for the win, for real. Like even the colors, I'm not gonna lie. When I go India, how am I gonna make an orange, white and green room look good? But you know what? Somehow I made it work. So of course it wouldn't be an Indian bedroom without the beautiful Taj Mahal above the bed. So yeah, that was me building a Bloxburg house, but every room was a different country. Let me know in the comments which country room is your favorite. Personally, I think it's the India bedroom or the Brazil office. But you know what? All countries are beautiful and it doesn't really matter. But yeah, if you want me to do another video like this, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on that bell notification to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!